What's your Hello? page? How do I tag you? Huh? What's your page on Facebook? Uh, Kate Burns Yoga. All right, go ahead. Sorry. So we are we're live right now. Are you gonna start a uh watching party? How do I do that? I don't know. I'm just gonna send out a thing. All right. I'm gonna start talking because we're live right now. So yeah, I'm let's get it. Hello to everyone. Hi guys. Hi to everyone who's watching right now. Thanks for joining us. Today we have Zach Schneider in the house here. Um, Sneed Art. Zach, will you introduce yourself to everyone who's watching? Yeah. Uh, Zach Snyder is my name. Uh, my artist name is Sneed Art. So you can find me on Sneed Art or on Instagram at Sneed Art and then Sneed Art Design is my website. But yeah, I'm an illustrator, a designer, I paint murals. Um, I do like digital illustration, um, pen and ink illustration. Um, yeah, black and white was my jam for a long time until I started painting. But um, I'm a Jackson native. Uh, I went to school at Grand Valley and got my bachelor's in illustration. And yeah, that's pretty much all the background for me and my so I have a question just right away. Yeah, dump them on I don't know this about you. What is Sneed Art? Where did oh, you name? yeah, nobody knows. Well, people, some people know. Um, there's this dude, I was on the soccer team. He was this too cool for school punk stoner kid, and he like made up a nickname for me called Z Sneed. <laughs> so it's kind of developed over the years. It became my nickname, and... Yeah, this kind of became my thing. I love it. I like I like things like that. Um, yeah. So you you are you've been when when did you start? I found out when did you find your interest in art? When did you know that you like to do art? Have you always been creative? I think I've always been competitive and creative because what got me started in drawing was um, the people around me in like sixth grade would have like drawing comp or not drawing competitions but i'd see other people's drawings and it was super inspiring and then i remember the first drawing that i was ever like okay i can do this it was a halo book cover that i drew so i drew like the master chief dude from the halo game series it's a video game on xbox right um, but yeah and then people started really encouraging me and it just kind of developed from there and blossomed. <laughs> yes. So you did art. You um, you said you went to Grand Valley. Did you also go to Jackson College for a little bit of that? I did for one year. Okay. So I went there for my first year. I always forget about that because mm -hmm. it was a very, very rough year. But, um, yeah, I took figure drawing and then drawing one which okay. I later had to retake because my portfolio from those classes weren't technically like up to Grand Valley standards. So they were like, we'll give you the credit, but we highly recommend that you retake it. So I retook it. Nice. Was it better the second time around for you or did you just retake it? 100%. I think if I didn't retake it, I would have been screwed. So you... Go ahead. You're working with a lot of um, big size, big, big projects. You're doing big murals lately, right? Yeah. Um, I'm working on a hallway right now over at True North Collective. It's a uh, marijuana processing facility. And um, it's probably like, what is it? Square footage? I don't know. Like, I'm painting a bunch of different rooms. So, right. yeah, there it is. Oh, dope. Yeah, so it's a pretty long hallway, and I'm painting the ceiling and uh, other rooms with it. It's a lot. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty this much the one I'm doing right now. And then I've done the murals in Grand Rapids for Rockford Construction. 
Um, Hay Halliard is another construction company. Um, 315, which is showed up right now, that's a dispensary in Grand Rapids. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and that was really fun. And then, yeah, I have one in Detroit for a business called Crane Communications. And these are amazing. Do you do you really like to work? So I know that that some of these that we're scrolling through are, are um, smaller. Do you tell me about the medium that you like to work, or maybe like the size? Do you really like to work in these big mural? Um, so, or how did you transfer maybe from, I guess. What brought you to doing murals is really the question. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question because I didn't paint until three years ago. I, I was always kind of ink drawing, um, digital. Um, and then smaller scale acrylic painting was one thing that I kind of toyed around with. Wait, but say nothing the word. Ever, like, acrylic, smaller scale acrylic painting. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, I wouldn't ever really show those off because they were kind of like studies just mm -hmm. trying to get familiar with it and then i took a painting class at grand valley that allowed me the space to paint large and i had the resources because i used mist tinted paint to do my senior project and um yeah so once i had the space to do it because i had always used my room as a studio once I had the space to do it, it was a lot of growth and exploration and stuff. And my painting instructor was super like encouraging because like on the first day she, we were doing this assignment and I was like, this is, I can't wrap my head around this. And she's like, and then I was like, I showed her what I did and she said, go ahead and do whatever you want. Like, I want you to go and do a ton of work and then come back to me. And then I'll grade you on that. So I did. And yeah. Do you feel like that openness in school allowed you to kind of grow into who you are instead of having like a rigid, maybe like a rigid curriculum or whatever, but the, the freedom in somebody to just let you blossom <laughs> into, into the artist? Yeah. Kind of helped you out? Yeah, oh man. So I don't think I'd, I think I'd be like, in the dumps right now if I didn't go to Grand Valley because I think I came from a broken home so, so to say mm -hmm. um so when I went off to Grand Valley I was just kind of like really really determined to learn as much as I can right. and a lot of the classes that I took were liberal studies courses and and then being in the art department is just a whole another like culture shock because it's essentially like, um, you know, it's a whole different culture that I didn't really identify with up until I went to school because it's video game culture, entertainment culture, um, you know, LGBTQ, yoga, spirituality, everything under the sun, you know. So I met a lot of really cool people that helped me grow both as an artist and an individual. That's amazing. That's really cool to hear. Um, yeah, it was. So have, what inspires you in your artwork? Is that a, too big of a question to answer? Yeah, because <laughs> everything does. Is there but some... not really. Huh? I, I like to look at everything around me and like, just get inspiration from that and other artists. Um, Instagram is a really awesome outlet for people, for creative people. So I really find myself drawn to that. Pinterest is dope. Um, but yeah, I pretty much, if I see something cool and it's aesthetically pleasing to my eyes, like I'm about it. And if it's colorful, that's even better. You work in a lot of bright colors. Do you have? Um, so you're saying you, you kind of draw inspiration from ev from everyone and everything around you. Is there, is that the same with the color palette that you use? Cause your colors pop, your colors are draw like, that's one thing I feel like even just from far away, looking at your art, you can, you have a, you have a look to your art. Do you know what I mean? So your colors are yeah. poppy, they are colorful. Um, well, they're not very, explain ahead, to me your color choices. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so excited to do this. Um, I'm excited to do this. This is like, <laughs> it's not often that I get to talk about my work, just like sit down and talk about it. So, right. <laughs> and I feel like people are hesitant to ask me questions, but, um, yeah, my color choices don't really come from anywhere, I guess. I like cool colors. I don't use a lot of red, um, just because of like the psychological connections to red. Some people think it's, think it's bad. Some people associate it with love. But yeah, I'm a muted color kind of guy. Pastels all day. Yeah. Even just looking at the ones that are back in our background. I like. like yeah, that's super the, cool, by the way. Like the teal colors. Yeah. So when you're, I have a question about the, do you, do you know the phrase like flow mode or like creative oh. flow? Yeah. So definitely. Go ahead. So I was gonna. So um, I guess we can. I don't. Maybe you know even more. But I know. I think when we say the word create uh, flow, that's when you are in. I don't. It's not like a different mindset, but it is. It's kind of a different mindset, right? It is. Yeah. Are kind of like. You're can kind you of explain like. Explain to us a little bit about that. Totally, because that's like, I feel like the connection between yoga and creativity and stuff. Like yoga is definitely all about getting into it. And flow is really just a word that like is just one word. You can use a million different words, but flow is definitely the best way to capture like how you feel because it's really just let me back up. <laughs> the, <laughs> the way that I work is kind of automatic. So like I'll just draw something on the wall and then I'll take a step back and if I like it I'll keep working with it or like yeah and it, the flow state comes when I'm like in a groove and I'm really going and nothing else is distracting me and um I'm really concentrated on my breath because a lot of the time like I have to hold my breath to like do a line so Maybe that's not good. <laughs> Maybe don't. I've never heard anyone say that. That's a really cool, that's a really interesting observation. Is it like when you have to get really detailed that you're holding your breath just to be really like? Um, yeah, especially really detailed. But even when I'm doing like really long strokes up against a wall like that, like there's still a very physical thing going on when you're painting. Uh huh. Like my arms are like up like this all day so like <laughs> muscles are going and the breath really helps with like the way that your body reacts to your movements kind of so like when i'm bending over sideways i'll like take a really deep breath to help my body and the muscles around that area i guess that's I, that's I, that's that's super cool. Do you feel like if we're gonna translate it to something because this is like mindfulness and like um, connection? Do you think that this might be going out on a limb? Would you say that the work that you do is this? This could be a thing for all painters too or all artists. But does it like come from your soul and then come out and into the breath and into the movement, almost like a one piece? <laughs> um, I definitely think it's something. I think that flow state is where you're like tuned into that, you know, that um, your soul and your energy, sentient energy or whatever is flowing out through whatever you're producing. Right. And, like you're creating something. You're literally like making something out of nothing. And that's like, I don't know, that's pretty powerful. And it definitely stems from something bigger than me. I definitely yeah, for sure. When you're in that state, can you? How long does it last? Does it? Does will you be like that for like three days straight and like not eat or drink anything? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> sometimes it really lasts. Really? Like, I mean, Haley probably notices a lot too because I'll just be going super fast, just like throughout my day. Like I'll be in such a good mood and a good state of painting, and nothing can distract me from my inspirations and it just keeps going but 
you know, some days I don't have it. And those are the short days that I go home at like after three hours of painting and I'm just like, just not, we were talking about that. We were kind of asking like, if you ever get like a writer's block or like an artistic block. So maybe that yeah, is equivalent. 100%. Yeah, dude, I like haven't drawn anything for fun in a while. Really? Like, yeah, not that things that I do every day aren't fun, but like I get really into my sketchbooks and that's something that I haven't been able to do really because it definitely is a product of consistency mm -hmm. for me at least how I like the sketch but yeah I, I forgot what I was going with that but <laughs> where you, where you, uh, you're talking about um, you haven't done anything that's kind of been like fun because you've been you've been basically commissioned right you're doing you're you're yeah. a paid artist you're doing big pieces for big people so yep. that is a, it's a different state almost that's a different that's coming from a different piece of you probably even though yeah and there's a lot of control on it too yeah because it's not only like because i'm trying to please them you know i'm trying to give them an a plus mural and sometimes like when i'm doing personal work that's not a concern so i tap into that flow state a lot easier and um yeah, I definitely get lost in that. <laughs> Do you listen to the music while work. you're doing stuff? Yeah, nonstop. What's, your, what's on your playlist oh, as of God. recent that you really oh. get to go on? Um, as of lately, um, I've been really digging. It's so hard because I just have playlists. I don't have like albums or anything that I listen to. Right. I just have playlists that I make, so it's really like curated, but I don't even know some of the people that I listen to and <laughs> I love them. Like I'll know them the second they start playing, but yeah, it's well, we... mainly instrumental music and electronic music and rap, okay. nice. something upbeat. When you think of an artist, we'll, we'll drop it in the, in the comments below. We'll drop your playlist, how about? In the yeah, after I have a few. Um, what is the most, the, so what are you most excited of? What project are you most excited about? Cause you said you've, you've done a lot of big stuff lately. Um, what's the project that you're most excited about or most like proud to show off? <laughs> I think the one that I'm most proud to show off would be the one that I'm working on right now. And that's the sure. one at True North? Yep. The one at True North. Okay. I think I got a little bit too excited with this one cause I started painting the floor. <laughs> and I got, I got in trouble. <laughs> so I'm like scared to go back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I think Halyard Construction in Grand Rapids, I think I tapped into something there and that one turned out really good because it's black and white. Oh, cool. So that one was probably my favorite. When you work in things with, when you, so when you, um, when you're not in big murals, you said you had done things in acrylic. What, what kind, you do digital too, right? You do a lot of digital illustrations. Yeah. I just sold so, you my tool. I know. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, bringing up the question I want you to or kind of talk about, cause I know people watching probably know more about this than I do. Um, can you tell us what you use and kind of like behind the scenes of how you create things digitally? Yeah. Oh, dude, here we go. I'm about to show you my spaceship. What is it? So I I recently invested in a, um, how do I flip my camera? Can I? I don't know if I can. But basically, I just bought a computer and a tablet. This thing over here is a computer screen, but it's also a tablet. So I had a pen that I can, like, tap and draw Is it on. touch screen? Yeah, so I have a stylus. Oh, it's just cool. Like, the Apple Pencil, but also there, what Andrew pulled up is um, my iPad setup. Yeah. And that's kind of like the on the go thing I like. Um, once you get really familiar with file sharing and stuff, you can really use any device you want. So I keep Mac for basically file storage and I use the iPad and Apple Pencil because I like it, you know, but 
depends on the day. Um, Photoshop and Procreate are the only two apps that I use. And you really don't need Photoshop. If you have an iPad and an Apple Pencil, you can um, pretty much just use Procreate because you can export the files the same way that you would in Photoshop. And they have all the tools and selection tools and the whole nine yards. So it's really great. But so if that, that's a whole other conversation. Huh? I said that's a whole other conversation, that's Procreate that. versus Photoshop. So you, okay, so we won't get into that one quite yet. Maybe next time around. <laughs> yeah, next if you were, time, if sure. someone was interested in, like, I want to start drawing or I have kids who are, like, interested in drawing, you would suggest Procreate and the pencil? Is it, a, like, a stylus? Yeah, so this is it. Okay, cool. It's a magic wand. <laughs> the magic wand. It's the magic wand. But, yeah, I... I or I bought rather those uh paper feel screen protectors. Oh, can you and, talk about that? Because I'm really fascinated by that. And I think yeah. oh. they're just matte um screen protectors. Some of them have different textures and resistance and stuff to the pen. But um yeah, it's a matte screen protector that makes it feel like you're drawing on paper and the thing that I did not like at first with the iPad and pencil was that the regular screen protectors made it really hard to like use that resistance in your favor on the right. pen, or between the pencil and paper. So yeah, this, the paper screen protector definitely adds that element that helps you control the lines a little bit, a little bit better. I was super in love with that little feature when you showed that to me it was it yeah was, it feels good too oh my gosh it, it's like it's so i have i bought zach's ipad just full disclosure and it has yeah. the screen protector on it and it has like a you can hear the sound of the pencil scratching on it it feels like yeah, you're, see. It, it's just amazing technology can you hear that <laughs> is really great so I want to ask you um, more, a little more on like the detail of your artwork, and I, we're um, talking about like where you find inspiration um, and how. Can you tell me more about? So some of your work looks abstract to me. Um, I'm mm -hmm. not going to pretend to be an artist, although I did go to school for art. Um, so I would say it has a lot of like. It looks abstract, but then some, in some pieces you can see it's very like realistic. There's very like. You can see actual shapes and people and buildings and things, but it also has elements of abstract design in it too. Can you talk about how you blend that together maybe, or just like where that comes from? Yeah. Um, sometimes I like have an idea or like, let me back up. I'll be doing a piece and I'll start seeing something form within like the shapes that I do. And then if it, like it turns into a bird or a fish or something. Um, or if I see like it start to resemble that, then I'll push that forward and I'll like chase that. But it's really just up to the person. It's, it is abstract, but it's up to the person. It's basically design. It's not supposed to be art or whatever. That's a controversial term. Wait, say it again. Art is a controversial term. So I'd rather say it's design. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm basically designing a hallway and just painting it, you know, instead of like painting an art piece. Gotcha. Or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, I forgot the question. <laughs> when you, when, when inspiration hits um, and you got to write it down, what do you. <laughs> What do you do? Do you take mental notes? Because I'm sure you find inspiration all over. Is that where the sketchbook comes into play? Yeah, sketchbook helps a lot. Um, I, I journal pretty regularly, or not so much lately. But yeah, I definitely jot down notes. I try to take advantage of Siri while I'm driving. You say Siri? Because I drive a lot. Yeah, Siri. Oh, okay. you, yeah, yeah, for sure. Are you having a hard time hearing me? Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, it's because I think it's my phone. It's because my phone's doing the audio. Oh, okay. But I, I'm really good at making mental notes. 
And the way that I work on murals, this is gonna, I'll transition into that. The way that I like do art and make things is mostly like boiled down to a process of like balancing out um, values. So like grayscale, imagine grayscale. Mm -hmm. There's a black, which is your darkest dark. And then there's your light, which is white. And that's your lightest or whatever, lightest color. And then there's all the colors in between. So I try to balance out the colors and everything. And I'm butchering this. <laughs> it's, it's hard <laughs> to talk about. It's hard it is. To talk it's about this stuff. Nobody, it, nobody really understands it. And I think artists that are listening do. I, or do you think artists that are listening for sure do. Anybody will get it. <laughs> so artists, I'm well, talking to you right now. Mama. I'm talking to you. What up, G? Isaac. Hi, Real life. Gotta go out. <laughs> Real life. In a little bit. Okay, so you're saying the the process is it's hard to explain is what you're yeah let me let me sum it up real quick. I basically okay. like spread out my ideas so I bounce around a lot. So my time lapses are super frustrating to watch because I'm ADHD as hell. <laughs> but it's really in my favor because it allows me to like space out my ideas and then wrap them together, you know. So I'll start here, bounce over here for like an hour and then come back over here for a half hour and then work my way back. So it's, it's a juggling act. Yeah. And then it all design elements. Kind of, right. Um, so I want to ask you one more question and then let you kind of, if you have anything you want to chat about, um, in addition, what is I, my last question for you? Maybe not my last one. <laughs> what do you do? Are there any like things you do to stay creative? Besides the journaling, you were talking about that. So is there anything else you do to kind of like hype up your creative brain that you want to talk um, about on Facebook? <laughs> I really just scroll through Instagram. I think that's enough for me because okay. I, I unfollowed a lot of people so I could like curate my feed a little bit more specifically towards art. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I like I like to watch um, like animated music videos or um, stuff like that. Yeah. So like Childish Gambino's Fe uh, "Feels Like Summer" was like one of my favorite music videos for the last three years. Okay, nice. But actually, that leads me into the print giveaway that I'm starting to do. Um, I'm starting a print giveaway. Oh yeah, tell us about I'm that. I'm starting to tease it a little bit. Um, I just bought a printer, so I'm, and I am paying for my website to get really done up and a store included in it and everything. So I'm starting to get inventory of prints that I can sell and to celebrate that and also coming close to 2,000 followers on Instagram, I am going to be giving away like five prints. Sweet. So this. if I see this right here, follow Zach, his Steed Art Instagram account. He's very close. Oh, nice. This is what you're giving away? Yeah, I'm giving away five of these. And then once I hit Some 2K, yes, yeah, so I'm giving away five of these. And then once I hit 2,000, I'm going to do a Chance the Rapper, or not Chance the Rapper, Childish Gambino print. And I'll be giving that away to one person. Oh, how cool. Okay. And it's going to be a one of one print. So. So one keep, of five. Keep your eyes peeled. Andrew, oh yeah, this is a good question from the audience. How was it being Ooh. part of Bright Walls? So Zach was part of Bright Walls 2019. How was that? Yeah, that was it was great. Um a lot of people came out. Um I didn't have a wall. A lot of people ask and I think I had a wall, but I didn't. I had like a a uh, eight foot by four foot panel so it was just two four by four wood pieces connected together and it was used as a like decoration element to their wayfinders so people could navigate the festival um okay it was a great time it turned out really good i remember being there and watching you guys do it well, not you guys but i remember Haley being there as well yeah that was one of my favorite pieces i think because um it, 
I was able to use tape and spray paint, and those two worked really well together. And then um, I did a mini mural, like I did uh, two years or last year. So the first year of Brightwell, I won the first place for the public choice or whatever for the mini mural contest. Mm-hmm, I remember that, yeah. And I did this year, and somebody stole it. I heard about that. So Somebody stole it. Stole Zach's mural or Zach's yeah. painting. Uh, bring it back. Yeah, I want it. I was supposed to have a show in Grand Rapids like a week after, and like that never happened. So I mean, it works out. But yeah, after the uh, festival, it just kind of sat there for a while on the side of the street, and I can't it was bound. It. Are you like? Kind of I was technically true, supposed to. Or are you super mad? <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> that would be <me> too. <laughs> I'm flattered. No, I don't care. It was like, it took like two hours. So but, if people are interested in reaching out to you, are you open for commissions? Or are you? Full? Yeah, always. I mean, I'm busy as shit, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I don't think I have anything lined up if people, right now wanted you for commissions how would they reach out to you yeah that's actually a good question because i don't know if people struggle with this but i'm basically just on instagram a lot and i talk to people through dms on there um Mm -hmm. i would prefer emails but you know nobody knows my email off top of their freaking head so my website will have like a contact me thing so if you go to my website at sneedartdesigns.com. And is that um, live right now? Yep, it's live. The website? Okay, cool. Yep, it's sweet. Andrew, pull it up. It looks so good. Andrew, can we see the website? <laughs> Special <laughs> request. I mean, well, what's, what's the URL again? Sneedartdesigns.com. which is a new handle. It's a new what? A new handle. What does that mean? So like my Instagram handle is Sneedart. So Sneedart Designs is something that I don't go by, but I like it. Is that is that still your handle too? Is that another handle you have or no? Yeah, that's my website. That's okay. my website. But you won't find me on Instagram or anything as Sneedart Designs. Okay, good. Good to know. I'm in the process of... Uh, contacting and bribing Mary Sneed. Okay, oh wow, here it is. Yeah. Woo. You just posted that Landenberger one recently too. Oh, look at that, that's great. Yeah, I, that was my buddy Malcolm. He lives down in Tennessee. He is incredible. There's a one of my, chance one that's awesome. Yeah, the you chance one was a chance? hit. I messaged him on Instagram, but that's it. But Chance the Rapper, if you see this, look at this wonderful painting design. <laughs> cool story, though. I reached out to the photographer who took that photo that I used for reference. Uh-huh. And he lives down in Texas, and I sent him a print, and he loves it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so he, like, follows me on Instagram now and likes all my stuff. And, yeah, he was super cool about it. Super cool. I love this. It's always nice to, like kind of like pick people's brains like I see you all the guys for those of you that don't know Haley Cooks who we had on the show before is my sister and this is Haley's boyfriend so I see you like I see you fairly often but it's not all the time that we get to like sit down and yeah. like chat about interesting cool stuff like this so, yeah and it's not often that anybody chats like this yeah it's like Take a second to call your friends and have a half hour phone call. Like, yes, I like promise great. it'll it's make you feel better. Or if you want, watch off the mat chats. <laughs> yeah, 100%. This is a dope ass platform, dude. Like, I'm I just feel really like excited. Like all these people that I'm interested in want to know more about. And then I'm just like, I bet other people do too. So, yeah, me and my friends, friends, Connor and Brendan, were just talking about podcasts and doing our own thing. And I have yeah. a lot of creative people that I want to talk to too. And honestly, Connor Klug said he'd come on here. He's friends with Zeke. Oh, okay, yeah. Wait, you'll have yeah, to tell he, me his name after this, and we can we can discuss. Yeah, he's a 
we can, we can talk in person another day just casually about it but okay cool. yeah i got a lot of i got a lot of friends smart <laughs> friends good to know i i need i need some guests um so we'll wrap this up i want um do you have anything usually i have one last question but i saved it and i already asked you <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to say? So just a reminder about the giveaway. So if we follow Zach on his thing, he's trying to get up to 2000 and he's super, super close. It's, it's really important for things like these platforms, especially for artists yeah. like, to have a big following. It gives you not uh, just like clout, but it gives you a good, like, it just, I don't know how else to explain it, but it's important. Yeah, I can, I can explain it. Like it definitely works in favor for those of like, it's obviously something that we all know like everybody works Instagram. It's a freaking hustle now. It's a right. hustle platform. So like people get that, like, and also everybody now has their own thing that they're trying to do, like photography or something. Like that stuff is so prevalent now that like follows matter, follows matter and shares matter. And not only just for those numbers, but just for like networking and having friends be friends with friends you know exactly. like what's the problem yeah. with that yeah so it's not about the likes but it's it's important to get you out there to like this is how you yeah because how you hustle who knows i mean i am about to sell a painting to a dude that follows me on instagram and he lives down in florida and That's it's amazing. like yeah a this huge like, painting yeah but all yeah, right, so this is this is the sign that we have to end the show no <laughs> so can you say hi it's up there zach Hi. <laughs> so, well, we had fun for coming on and talking with us, guys. If you're interested in Zach's work, check it out. Look at his website. Reach out to him, or if you know anybody that is looking Hi, for Shari. artists, Zach is in. Yeah, the I will have tons of prints. Um, I'm open to do commissions. I'll paint a bedroom wall. <laughs> oh, nice. But I, yeah, just get a hold of me. We'll talk. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Kate. I'll talk to you. I'll I'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you soon.